Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rechakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Father, meaning He is, He exists, He to be. Ba'in, Hada, Shem name, Yahweh Shai being the God's Son, meaning He delivers, He saves. Rechakwadash, Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great most never well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all, back at it again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Lord willing, lesson is edifying. Just want to get straight into it through the spirit. We want to be mindful of how we conduct ourselves, all right, on our day to day, whether we are around brothers or by ourselves, handling our business and our day to day lives, because we don't want to put a stain on the ministry. And we don't want to get other brothers involved in an unnecessary situation because of our reckless actions. You know, especially when you're at camp. Okay. We've had um, certain instances happen or circumstances happen, you know, these past couple of weeks. Not us in particular, but, you know, men who are in Israel who know their Israelites who go out teaching. And uh, you had that one incident where... The Jake came up with a wife who looked like an Edomite, but she could have been a Jake. More than likely she was, but nonetheless, that's neither here nor there. You know, that same Jake was ready to sh shoot the brothers who were teaching, you know, because he called out his wife. Now, at the end of the day, in my personal opinion, I believe that Jake was being a little emotional and overzealous, you know, but, hey, you know, some Jake go hard about that woman like that all right but nonetheless the point being you know you don't want to get other brothers hemmed up because you want to be reckless and now for the brother that was teaching he should have had a little bit more discernment to know and try the spirit and see whether she was an edomite or not she couldn't you can't just go based off appearance all right that's level one you know in in this in the he in the hebrew israelite teaching regimen <laughs> for lack of better words. But nonetheless, the point being what, man? It, it's not just limited to that. You know, sometimes people come to the camp and they have certain spirits on them and they want to get contentious and riled up. And it's easy to let your ego do, you know, take the uh, driving, take the steering wheel, all right? It's easy to let your ego take the steering wheel. And now you want to defend your honor, so to speak, and you want to seem like Mr. Tough Guy because somebody else is coming at you with that tough guy energy. But the best thing to do, it really is to just diminish strife. Take the low, okay? Because you got to remember, we're not out here to be tough guys. We're out here to do the work, first and foremost. And secondly, you don't want to be acting Mr. Tough Guy and put the brothers around you in a situation. And as well, yourself, because of ego or pride. The Christians say, only with my pride cometh contention. But what the well advised is wisdom, roughly paraphrasing. So you don't want to be doing things contentious just because you want to be proud and you want to seem like the man. What makes you be the man and not just seem like the man, but what makes you be the man is that the Lord is dealing with you. And for the Lord to deal with you, you got to walk in the spirit. So without further ado, we're just going to get right into it. Ecclesiasticus chapter 8 and verse 15. It says, travel not by the way with a bold fellow, lest he become grievous unto thee. For he will do according to his own will, and thou shalt perish with him through his folly. Right. And, you know, some people might be able to relate. You might have had a homeboy back in the world, and, you know, he was always ready to get into a fight. He was always ready to be reckless with his mouth and get you guys in certain circumstances. And it's like he's just doing according to his own will. He's not thinking about his consequences, how it invo involves, you know, his other friends around him. Or, you know, you might be hanging out with him, how it involves you. But nah, he just wants to be Mr. Tough Guy and be bold and do reckless things. And, and you know, he can get you both hemmed up in a situation because he wanted to be that bold fellow and be a fool. Okay? Well, guess what? Don't be that type of person, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn to not be like that. And you got to learn that your actions have a ripple effect, man. And what you do can affect the brothers around you, too. Okay, does not the scripture say when one member suffers, all the members suffer with it? So at the end of the day, man, we got to make sure that we're moving 
correctly and uprightly. You know, this is a Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. It says, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. That's right. So we have to walk circumspectly, man. Okay. We have to be paying attention to our environment, paying attention to our surroundings, paying attention to the dynamic of the people that we're dealing with. Okay. We have to walk with wisdom. As you our Lord, Yahweh, I said in Matthew 10, be wise as serpents or harmless as doves, man. Okay. Because in these times, man, the love of many is waxing cold. So people are just looking for a reason to blow a person away, man. All right. Or to do harm upon somebody. A lot of these people are ready to crash out, man. Okay. And they're just looking for a reason. You know, so you just got to move with wisdom out here. No, it doesn't mean you're scared. No, it doesn't mean that you're a coward. It just means you're moving smart, man. Okay. Now, if it ever has to come down to it where you defend yourself, make sure that you're doing it uprightly so that the Lord will be with you and he will deliver your enemies into your hands. But don't be going out your way starting problems because then the Lord might just judge you, let you get your ass whooped because or confounded. All right. <laughs> because you want to be reckless, man. And you don't want to move in the spirit. You know, you ain't trying to move like that, man. Okay. So we have to move spiritually, man. We have to do our part in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, whatever else transpires after that, after we've done the right thing, it's in Yahweh Bashem Ashai's will. Okay? So this is Ephesians 5 and 16. It says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. That's right, man. Okay? So we got to redeem the time. We got to understand what time frame we're living in. It says, wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Right. So we got to move with wisdom, man. We have to be understanding of the will of Yahweh Bashem Ashai. And a part of the Lord's will is for us to be walking wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. Okay? Not being brawlers, not being quick to strive, you know, but we got to be patient out here. Apt to teach, as the scriptures say. Okay? And being mindful of how we conduct ourselves so that we don't get the flock around us in a situation. Okay? 2 Corinthians 6 and 3, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Yeah, right. And you got to understand that how you react to a certain situation or how you might go about a certain situation, you can potentially make the whole body be blamed because of your actions. And now every other brother, you know, could be a solid brother, upstanding brother, right? But because you wanted to act a fool, now you're making everybody else look bad, man. Because that's what people tend to do. They tend to bunch everybody up in one category when one person of the organization acts a fool, man. All right. So, hey, do your part and move blamelessly. OK, Titus two and eight sound speech that cannot be condemned. Right. That's how we should be conducting ourselves in a way that we cannot be condemned in a way when we don't have to say Salakia because we're moving blamelessly. That he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. Right. And how would that happen? If you, unless, you know, you're not unless how would that happen if you're moving, you know, unwise? How would that happen if you're moving as a bold fellow and you're doing things that's reckless? It's not going to happen. So we have to move blamelessly, man. We have to move upright. We have to move sound in the faith so that, you know, those that are on the contrary part, those who are looking for a reason to blame us have nothing to say because we've been moving blamelessly, man. And like it says in Colossians 4 and 5. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without. You know, redeeming the time, man. Okay? Colossians 4 and 5. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time, man. So we got to walk in wisdom, especially to those who don't have the truth, man. To those who don't know about this truth and know about Yahweh Bashmashai, man. We, we have to walk with wisdom. Because they're looking for any reason to point the finger and blame us. Man. All right? So don't be moving out here like a bold fellow, trying to do things of your own will. Scriptures speak about a man that's self-willed, man. Okay? That's not moving in the spirit. All right? And how about Shemashah doesn't want us to move like that out here, man. We are required to conduct ourselves to a certain standard as men of Yahweh Shemashah. Okay? And remember, this is the body of Yahweh Shai. You represent something greater than yourself. So don't be moving out here like, you know, it's just, oh, it's just me and... 
it don't matter what I do, you know, because your actions will play a ripple effect of the of the men around you. So keep that in mind. So with that being said, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the most never well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and Ababa.